Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So we have actually finally reached the 30 cent level. Loyal viewers will remember that I've been waiting for this 30 cent level already here back in May. And then here again early in October, middle of October, where we came down to 32 cents. Early in May it was around 30, 38 cents, yeah. And I know there were a few, few annoyed people who were waiting for the 30 cent level. And there you go, you've got it now. So. Hope you are <laughs> hope you're happy um, my view is um, I would like to I'm going to do it I would like to change slightly the wave count of ADA um, just because with the latest price action down there it doesn't really make too much more sense to consider this movement here which occurred between May and September as a triangle it's still possible um, but I like another count a bit more and it doesn't really impact the latest price action or anything, but it fits better, you know, with looking at all the proportions. The triangle helped us very well. Um, it uh, did us a, a good service in, in forecasting the further price movements here for ADA and to forecast another low, which now has already happened, right? So ADA in the last few days has actually followed the primary price expectation of another low to 30 cents. And now that we've reached this target, we need to, well, take a step back um look at what could happen now and make the next basically you know identify the next scenarios right because target has been reached so let's take a look at what's actually possible um if we consider this not as an elite wave triangle but just purely as a very simple um yeah contracting triangle um you would in traditional ta you would just use that at the height of the triangle to the breakout point and you get to around about 15 cents overall as a target. I just wanted to mention that. Um, so where I before had the wave four here, where we finished the triangle in the elite wave triangle count, I'm going to put the wave four here. That's of course possible as well. I think that is where I had it very much originally, um, but it's now looking like what we're putting in place here is an overall larger diagonal pattern. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to take the yellow count out but it's a larger ending diagonal pattern here in this fifth wave down. And I would consider this now as a wave one, which bottomed here at around 40.5 cents, then a wave two to the upside, which peaked at around 60 cents. Then we came down in a wave three here most recently to 33 cents. This was a wave four to the upside here at, um, where were we, 44 cents. And we are now coming down in that fifth wave off the fifth wave basically, right? To finish off the larger correction of a wave two. So now that we've established that, I think it fits much better um, looking at the proportions of the sub waves as well. And therefore we're now going to go in. I had a few problems with the ADA chart most recently. Um, as you will remember, we had this issue with the Binance ADA USD and you had that unnatural spike to the downside. But now this is looking um, much better and also from the proportions this works out quite well. So looking at this now, I'm actually considering the movement. Um, each of these subwaves in this ending diagonal is an ABC. So this makes now a bit more sense in that I can actually um, look at the movement from the, where were we? No, I would put that here actually, yeah. From the high, this movement, I would consider this move down as a wave A take those subwaves out because the latest price action makes this movement here more likely or this count. This was actually an A wave down. This was a B wave up, the B wave as a triangle likely. And then here a C wave down to finish off the overall correction. Yeah. And this is how I would go with it at the moment. And then if we say, okay, we've got the C wave here, this would um, allow us now also to calculate a target much, much better for, for ADA. Um, this wave count has the advantage. So if we take the length of the A wave and we compare it with the high of the B wave, which was here around 33 cents, then the first target for ADA would be the 20 cent level, which is the one to one ratio. Uh, that would obviously be below the 88.7% FIP level. The 88.7% FIP level of the larger ADA cycle is here the 30 cent level. Um, any drop below that would not be great for the chart, but I must also say that ADA is one of the, the few coins that actually hasn't dropped below that level. 
most coins have already dropped below the level, um, especially smaller cap altcoins. But as long as it doesn't stay below it forever, uh, it's good. It's okay. It's just that the chart suggests it at the moment, right? It, it suggests at least here the, the 20 cent, which would be the one to one ratio. And then in the, let's say worst case, even the 12 cent level, that would be the 1.618 extension. So we just have to go with that. Um, in terms of target, you would expect this C wave to play out in five waves. So we'd be looking here at something like um, a wave one, two, three, four, five. Let me change the wave degree actually. Here in five waves. And um, then we would be looking at the sub wave just to understand, um, yeah, is this wave one already in? I think it could be in this first wave. Let me see. I think I actually mentioned in my previous video that this could have been the low. Maybe this was already the wave two and we're possibly already in the third wave. Just need to take that now step by step here, but the focus is further on the downside. Clearly, as long as we stay below 33 cents, yeah, uh, a move above that level would well, it would mean we have to recalibrate here, um, but ideally it stays below that 33 cent level now um, because this is the beginning of the impulse down, right? Um, so we might have to consider the idea that the low was already in if we now break above that level. But for now, it is possible that this was already the wave too high, but it would be very shallow. Yeah, because a wave two would normally, would normally expect at least the 38.2% FIP level. Now it hasn't even reached that. Now that's not necessarily a major problem, um, but normally you would expect that actually, that it goes a bit higher, um, but it wouldn't be against the rules to have a very shallow wave two. Based on that, we would now move down in the third wave actually, um, and target for that third wave would actually be the 26 and a half cent level. Let's see if we actually get there. Um, what also is a possibility is that we had here some kind of an expanded flat. So this was a wave A, B and the C wave would still push higher. I wouldn't rule that out. That would be the alternative wave too. Um, but yeah, generally I would expect now, generally the trend is further down until we break above 33 cents. Then we need to look at these um, structures. And yeah, that's my update at the moment about ADA. Um, generally one more comment here about the stake pool. Maybe you've missed it, maybe you know it, but if you wanna support more crypto online, if you hold any ADA and you are interested in delegating your ADA and supporting the Cardano blockchain, then feel free to also uh, delegate to the More Crypto Online stake pool. We've got our own ADA stake pool that we launched basically, well, a couple of weeks ago. We already have nearly 2 million um, ADA in the stake pool now. Um, so it's growing. The number of delegators is growing every day. Um, of course, the number of ADA will fluctuate a bit depending on if you have a few whales and they move in and out. Um, but overall, this is amazing growth for within just sort of uh, not even a couple of weeks. And from this current epoch, let me just actually check. I think from this epoch, um, which, no, from the next epoch, which starts in, well, in an hour, <laughs> we should generate rewards because we have a sufficient ADA in our pool. And very excited for epoch 377 because it will be the first epoch in which we will most likely generate rewards. So if you're interested in delegating, uh, feel free to do so. It would help the channel a lot and you can find the links for that in the video description, including two videos, how to do it. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you liked the update about ADA and um, yeah, please leave a comment, subscribe and um, yeah, hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.